we're generally pretty good at seeing patterns of behavior and the ways that other people hold themselves back. But we're not always so good at seeing that in ourselves. So to evolve as a leader, one of the most important resources that you have is the perspective of other people. So who do you want to be getting feedback from? Could be with a direct report, it could be with somebody senior in the organization, or maybe just a friend, somebody else who knows you pretty well. If you really want to learn about yourself, you want to get a diverse group of people. Don't just go to people who you think like you. That's not going to be a productive set of conversations. You'll learn something, but you're not going to really get into the terrain of discomfort. And that's what I really want for you, is to really learn new things about yourself. It's really important to gain some diversity of perspective so that you're not relying or over-indexing on any one person's feedback. I would recommend when asking for feedback from people that you do that live. So tell them in advance that you wanna have that conversation, you schedule a video call, or if you're in person, have a meeting. Don't try to get this type of feedback over email or in some kind of tool or a document. That is a quick recipe for it starting to feel really formulaic. So focus on a less formal environment, either a video call or in a, an in-person setting if you can. Focus on the first part of the conversation. Now you might have a bunch of questions that you wanna ask, but don't worry about the questions so much. Worry about the setup. So explain to that person and really take the time to practice a little vulnerability and say, hey, I'm, I'm, I really wanna learn about myself and this is information that's really hard to gather. You probably have that experience for yourself. And by doing that and really focus on the beginning of that conversation, you'll set the rest of the conversation up for success. So here's a couple of questions that you can use to get the conversation going. You could ask them, hey, you know, when you think of me as a leader, what are the first couple of words that come to mind? If it's somebody that knows you well, you could say, hey, you've seen me operating as a leader. Uh, if there was something that you think I should be working on, uh, what would be that thing? A good question that you can use to help frame these conversations, either at the beginning or in the middle, is to ask in terms of impact. So how does my leadership style, or when I do this thing that you gave me feedback about, how does that impact you? Or how has that impacted you? And that will lend itself to a richer conversation where you're more likely to get feedback that you can really use. Here's three things to keep in mind when you go and have these conversations to try to get some feedback about your leadership style. The first is to ask open-ended questions. So an open-ended question is, hey, can you tell me a little bit about your experience of me as a leader? Versus a not open-ended question or a closed question would be, do you think I'm a micromanager? That has a yes or no response. So focus on the open-ended questions. The second thing to remember is listen more than you talk. Ask a question and give that person some room to stretch out. Let them pause, maybe take a breath. But ask a follow-up question, say, hey, tell me more about that. Let them really consider the question that you've been asking them. The most important thing about asking any of those questions is your tone when you show up to that conversation. So if you show up and you say, well, I really wanna learn about myself as a leader and I'm in this course and you know, I have these questions for you, well, you're gonna get responses that match your tone. But if you show up from a place of curiosity and say, hey, I really wanna learn, and I know there are things about me that I don't know, you're gonna, the data that you're gonna get is gonna be so much more rich and meaningful for you to be working with. As you go through this process, which might feel a little bit uncomfortable, especially at first, the thing to focus on more than anything else is to notice if and when you're getting defensive, if you feel like you're having to protect yourself from the feedback that you receive, and I want to share with you a story of a leader that I was working with recently who showed an incredible example of how to do this well. He's a CEO in a fast-moving startup, and he got a round of incredibly intense feedback. But he went into it feeling like, hey, look, this is me learning. And if I don't get this information, then I'm never going to really learn about myself. So, so he really showed up with it as an opportunity to really learn about himself. And he heard some mm -hmm. things that a lot of us would have a really hard time hearing. And he stayed in, and he took a deep breath, and he listened to the feedback, and he didn't defend himself in the moment. And that catapulted him into a whole new place of growth in himself because what was the most important thing that happened is all of those people around him who had that feedback, they watched him not react. 
They watched him not get defensive. So he was already working on himself in that process. So as you're listening to this feedback and you come across a place where you feel like, ooh, I want to defend myself or I want to say something in return, this is not the place for that. Note it in your mind, maybe you know, write it down on a piece of paper later, I want to follow up with this person, but not in that moment. This moment is a, is a conversation where they get to tell you what they think. You're there to listen and learn about yourself. So now it's time to go do it, to take all of the work that you've done so far, and this idea of more Yoda, less superhero, and reflecting on your own tendencies, and go get that feedback from the people around you. 